to protect our seas. And I would urge the Scottish Government to do just that. Thank you, Ms Grant. I now call Fergus Ewing to be followed by Liam MacArthur. Mr Ewing. Thank you, Presiding Officer. I, I warmly thank Beatrice Wishart uh, for bringing this debate and the opportunity to speak in it here to today. And I congratulate her on her excellent contribution and enjoyed listening to all members speak thus far. Uh, Presiding Officer, I have spent uh, 49 years campaigning in various capacities to support, to provide succour to our fishermen and fishing communities throughout Scotland. Starting off as a, a schoolboy campaigning for our mother in 1974 when she successfully won Murray and Nairn from then Gordon Campbell and she thought that she had the fishing community on her side during the campaign. It was a cold count so the votes weren't counted until the Friday but she went on the election night programme and was interviewed by the anchor man of the election's results from London who asked her this at midnight after the votes had been counted elsewhere but not in Murray. Well, Mrs Ewing, how have you done in Murray and Nairn? And she said, I won. And he said, how can you possibly know? Because the votes haven't been counted yet. And she said, because the votes came in. At that point, uh, the BBC executive producer was completely mystified. He didn't understand that postal votes weren't a thing then and the fishermen came in. They disrupted their fishing effort in order to cast their vote for Winnie to fight for them. And in those days, presiding officer, it was precisely because the fishing community had lost confidence in the Conservatives under Ted Heath. Uh, now, my fear is that they are now losing confidence in the party I've served for nearly 50 years in our Scottish government. Um, I've had the privilege of serving as the MSP for Loch Aber for eight years, now in, in Kate Forbes' capable hands. And I got to know the fishermen in Malig and in Arasig. And I got to understand and appreciate what they do. Producing food on our table, hardworking, great characters, many of them very God-fearing as well, uh, and making a huge contribution to Scotland. And over the years, it's the fishing community that have gone on to form the backbone of the Merchant Navy. And then in the 70s and 80s, working offshore in our oil and gas industry because they were already familiar with the perils of working in the cruel sea. Indeed, they did then and still do now put their lives at risk for us. They deserve our respect. They deserve our thanks. But what have they got in this document? The only mention of fishermen is that what they do is destructive. What an incredible act of provocation that is. Plenty also, I've got a list of questions here about this consultation document. Some have been asked already. Why didn't the government sit down with fishermen at the beginning? Work with them, as Beatrice said, and local management to learn what they do. After all, no one's got more interest in fishermen than preserving stocks for the future for their family coming on. No one knows more about it than they do. You can't convince me that an academic working in a university buying a typewriter knows more than the fisherman working the sea. So, uh, where do we go from here? Well, presiding officer, I do think, and I, I've urged the minister already to do this. I know she's rejected it, but this, this, is, this will haunt the Scottish government, this issue. This will not go away. This is not a consultation document. It's a notice of execution, together with the inshore cap and the special marine features, which are really putting the fear of God into our fishermen. And the collective impact of all of that means that the anger, as Dr. Allen has already said, is palpable. And in 49 years, I have not come across anything like it. So the minister should withdraw the document, apologize, get round the coast, go round all the fishing ports, or most of them, as I have tried to do in my time. And then she should go back to the drawing board and work with the fishing communities. And in the meantime, in conclusion, presiding officer, with regard to this document, I've got three suggestions to make about what to do with it. First of all, put it in the burgeoning policy recycling unit, along with the advertising ban and deposit return. Secondly, if you prefer, use it as a fire lighter. Uh, but thirdly, what I think, uh, and in doing this, I think I'm summing up the views of the people I've worked for 
and value and cherish for nearly 50 years. This is what to do with it, presiding officer. This is what to do with it. I do it now. That is what the people of Scotland, who have great affection for our fishermen, want to happen and what should happen and what I believe will happen at some stage or another.